When I was a Christian school teacher, this camp called and wanted me to come out and speak. And I said yes. This was in December. Well, by the time I got to June, and the camp started three days after school was out, frankly, I was like, why did I ever say yes to speaking at this camp? I mean, I was just burned out, tired. The last thing I wanted to do was go back and spend another week with you know, 200 high school kids and have to be like the, the guy. And, and on top of that, this was like a camp where like, you know, I mean, big time speakers have spoken. So I was thinking, I'm just this peon. I mean, I'm not the guy for the job. And I mean, I, I was all the way out there flying in the plane just thinking, how can I get out of this? Maybe I can call in sick or something, I don't know. So, so I get out there and the camp director says to us, you know, uh, he says, well, you know, first morning, he says, uh, you guys gotta have to go do devotions for like an hour and a half. You got an hour and a half to devotion, just go spend some time with God. So I literally, in my state of, you know, bad attitude, I climbed up this mountain behind the camp and sat next to a giant redwood tree and just sat there complaining to God about my state of being burned out. Just like, okay, God, I don't know why I'm here. I can't believe you brought me. This is ridiculous. I don't want to be here. I'm totally burned out. I'm exhausted. I'd rather be home with my family. I mean, I, went, I was going through the whole litany. And finally, I just kind of stopped babbling and stopped complaining and just sat by the tree quietly, just looking out over the scenery in California there. And I swear I heard this voice just like, pick up your Bible and read it. Ezekiel. And I picked it up off the ground and I read this passage from Ezekiel and it literally said, um, I have sent you here um, and you need to go speak to these people. And whether they hear you or not, it doesn't matter. Uh, you need to speak to them. That's why I've sent you here. I'll tell you, it was, it was a profound moment. Like, I mean, I got up from that ground that, and I was like, wow. Okay, God, I get it. I get it. You want me to do this. And it made me think, you know, like when we're desperate to hear from God, you know, what do we do? Do we, do we pause and like ask him to speak? I mean, we ever, you ever cry out and say, hey, Lord, I need to hear from you. I need a word. And you know, and how often is it just right there in, in, his, in the Bible he's given us? You know, it says the Bible's sweeter than honey. You know, I mean, I wonder, have you tasted it lately? You know, have you, have you tried to like go and see if God would actually speak to you? I mean, we read the Bible for so many different reasons, but I think God just wants to talk to us through it. Wouldn't it be awesome just to taste that honey, the voice of God?